I'd love to switch gears and talk about, um, you know, you a little bit. And, and one of the questions that I always like to ask is where you think you have an edge or a superpower and how that shows up in your day-to-day -day work. And this could be either just on the personal side and your own, you know, kind of chase of peak performance or in building found. I've come to believe my superpower is the ability, my brain loves to organize things into frameworks. So if you give me a bunch of data, uh, interview questions, books I've read, it will always try and rack and stack that into a framework to help me organize and understand it. And I found that's been a huge advantage. So it's helped me you know, build frameworks for how we coach. It's helped me design products based on disparate information. I mean, one of the products we have is based on work I did with Navy SEALs on diving, clients asking questions about jet lag, reading research papers. You, know, you sort of bring that all together and then it clicks and I always kind of laugh about it as the moment you see the code in the matrix and it all comes together. And then I think at the end of the day, it's been most powerful for me with Fount for developing the big vision. How do we think about what's missing and why can't we do what we want to do today? People just want to have a simple answer to what to eat, take and do to look, feel and perform like they want. And in every other industry, we don't sort of like criticize someone if they want it to be made easy for them. We expect good UX and other things. And so why is it that we can't make it easy for people in health today? And that's what led me to the big vision we have for data and collecting different types of data and then using those to build this sort of high UX version of health in the future. For someone whose brain isn't naturally wired to think about frameworks, I think it might be helpful to go just a level deeper and I'd be curious to hear your perspective on why a framework is so helpful. You know, it seems like part of it is maybe making sense of a massive amount of data that can just be overwhelming and confusing. Maybe it's or orienting you on kind of the reason there. Help explain for people listening why a framework is so helpful and how to think about the importance of a framework. I think about them as heuristics or shortcuts for how to make decisions. So. You know, for example, I mentioned this trust and mission focus framework I developed based on the work I was doing with the military. That helps me decide who to hire. So when I think about culture for a company and who to hire, that's those are the big cuts. When I need to solve a problem physiologically for a client, it would be very difficult to start from, you know, zero and build everything up every time. And so when I know that I can think about, you know, often you know, certain challenges are, you know, if you are caused by inflammatory factors, stress hormone factors, I have these building blocks that I can use to rapidly get to a solution. And the beauty is I don't look at these as perfect solutions. I just need to get to a 95% confidence and then I can run the experiments or do other work to get to however high confidence or get the client to where they need to go. So it's about shortcuts and being able to rapidly understand what's happening in the world to make decisions.